we offer more than 1400 courses per year for certification. So one part is the repository where you can just access, think of it as a library, you go and you watch videos, you learn for yourself. But if you want to take a certificate in any particular course from NPTEL, we also offer these courses for certification. Okay, We are a partner of Swayam the swayam.gov.in, the National MOOCs portal of India and we offer courses for certification on this portal. More than 1400 courses are offered every year for certification in two semesters, January semester and the July semester. Let's look at the relationship between NPTEL and Swayam. Uh, NPTEL was a project started in 2003 primarily for content creation. And in 2014, we started offering courses for certification. In 2017, uh, the Ministry of Education launched the Swayam portal, which is the National MOOCs portal of India. So under the Swayam portal, there are 10 coordinators for various verticals of education. NPTEL is the national coordinator for engineering education primarily, both the UG and the PG levels. Uh, NPTEL also takes care of the technical maintenance of the Swayam portal, getting in new features and seeing that the portal uh, runs very smoothly without any glitches all through the year. So uh, what has been NPTEL's uh, certification journey since 2014? Again, here are some numbers that you can see for yourself. The number of certification courses that we have completed on Swayam so far is 5,372. And in the upcoming semester, which is July 2023, we will have more than 692 courses offered for certification. The enrollment till June 2023 has been 2.3 crores. More than 28.6 lakh learners have registered to write the certification exams and more than 18.8 .8 lakh learners have been certified by NPTEL so far. Now, what are the components of a certification course and uh, how does it typically work, right? This is what is normally called as a massive open online course or a MOOC. But of course, in NPTEL, we also have uh, specialized PG level, PhD level courses, which are not necessarily massive. But of course, they also do have 300, 400 learners in it and who follow the course and complete the examinations in it. So the typical content that we would offer as part of an NPTEL certification course is first primarily the video content. So the videos are recorded by faculty in the premier institutes like we already said. So that would be about maybe 10 to 12 hours if it is a four week course. Uh, we have an eight week course duration. So it could be about 20 to 23, 25 hours there and a 12 week course duration which could uh, where the content could be between 30 to 40 hours. So the primary will be the video lectures by the faculty who also has been teaching this course within the institute and is an expert in this particular area. So that is the first part of the certification course. The second most important part of the certification course will be weekly assignments. So in every course of NPTEL, every single week, we have assignments that we give as part of that week. So the learner is expected to watch the video lectures and attend the assignments. Assignments can be of different types. We have something called auto graded assignments where it could be just a multiple choice question or multiple select questions where the question has more than one possible answer. There could be short answer uh, questions or fill in the blank type of questions where a problem may be given. You have to solve the problem and enter the answer onto the uh, portal. It could be something where you have to enter one word or maybe a phrase or something which is again auto corrected. So these are the kind of auto graded questions we have. The second type of assignments we have are programming assignments. So programming assignments are normally used in courses where the learners require to program. So these are also auto graded and the portal currently supports C, C++, Python, Java, Verilog, Haskell programming. The portal supports all these languages uh, for auto graded programming assignments. So the learner will have to submit a program. There is something called a private test case and a public test case. And based on the input output system, the learner gets marks for these programming assignments. So all the programming courses we run actually have hands on programs that have to be written as part of the course assignment, the weekly assignment that we give. 
the third type of assignment that we have is subjective assignments which are manually graded so in this case the learner might have to uh, maybe write an essay and submit it or maybe will have to do some kind of a design document maybe some derivations some proofs they have to uh, write it or type it on a, a document and they have to upload the document the faculty and their team of uh, teaching assistants manually validate these and then they mark the assignments for subjective assignment category of uh, questions the fourth type that we have is peer reviewed uh, assignments where a submission by a learner is normally reviewed by the other students in the same course so they do peer reviews and they rate each other's work and the final result is based on what the others feel about your assignment so these are the type of assignments and assignments are very very important in an nptel course because the assignments also contribute to your final exam score if you're going to write the exam as well as there is a cut off you have to cross to get the certificate for an nptel course okay uh, the third component that is there in an nptel certification course is text transcripts there might be some lab demos that we are doing if it is a theory course that has an associated lab we might have shot some experiments in the laboratory and also put it there for your reference that you can actually watch what is happening in the labs as the experiments are being performed that is one part so text transcripts are actually uh, documents where we have transcribed the videos completely and we are providing it to you as reading material so maybe once you have watched the video and you want to kind of just refresh and brush up on what has been taught the text transcripts are a useful way of doing it or those people who like to read maybe rather than watch can also go through the transcripts on whatever the faculty has taught in the videos uh, the other important component that we have is the discussion forum this is very very important because this is the connection through which you can communicate with the faculty and team or with your peers in the course so there is a discussion forum in every course if you have doubts you can ask on the discussion forum and normally within 24 hours there will be somebody who is turning around and giving you the answers to the questions if somebody asks a question maybe your peer in the group is asking questions and you know the answers to that you can also answer in the discussion forum so this is a very good way in which you can actually showcase your written communication skills and your knowledge in the subject also by helping your friends and maybe asking and getting your doubts cleared the last part is live interaction sessions in many courses we have uh, pmrf scholars who are nowadays doing live sessions uh, teaching sessions doubt clearing sessions as part of it it's a weekly session that we are enabling a two hour duration in at least about 250 to 300 courses where you can participate and you can also interact with them and many times the faculty also come in for a live session maybe once a month or so where you can also interact with the faculty member offering the course uh, to discuss the various aspects of the course so these are the five components that comprise an nptel certification course